Hi guys, this is Ahana and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for giving our channel so much love and support. So keep doing that. And about a week ago, we got many requests from you guys saying that what do you guys use for Ollie and Bozo, your puppies. So in this video, we're going to show you what we use and what you need as first time puppy owners. But before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you need is a crate for sleeping in or taking little naps throughout the day because they're babies. And the tr uh, crate comes with a little tray. And since they're puppies, they've not been trained, especially throughout the first week. They might make a little accident. So you just take it out, you just wash it and put it back in. And crates usually come with a divider separating it between the middle. And that's because, like I said, they don't know like where to use the bathroom. So they know, wow. <laughs> so they like sleep in here, but they don't know if they shouldn't use the bathroom. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> so they shouldn't use the bathroom. Okay, okay, no, 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 come out. Come out, come on. So Ollie is fully crate trained, as you can see but Bozo's not because he's more new. So the divider separates it in half so they don't use the bathroom and they sleep on this side. And we use a little pillow for Ollie because he's crate trained and he knows not to use the bathroom so his back doesn't hurt. So he sleeps on the pillow and he knows how to control his bathroom needs. And speaking of bathroom needs, oh I can't grab it. Pet training pads. So here's an open one. This is a size large, and because they're like, all these bigger, but Bozo's not too big, so make sure you order it based on the size of your puppy. We got a large because this is how big it is, and Ollie and Bozo both pee on this pad. We keep their water bowls right next to the pad, so as soon as they drink water and they're feeling the need to use the bathroom, they just do it on here. And I think this is from Katiza Furry. And Bozo is really good at coming on here right after drinking water. And we got this from Amazon, so we'll put the link in the description. So second, you need some toys. And since these two are super small, they're babies, and they have teething problems, we have some chewing toys and this helps massage their gums so they don't chew on anything else. We also have squeaky toys. We also have another Keys chewing toys. And we also have some sticks. And oh, another thing I want to share with you guys. This is my very first toy. And it used to be hung on my car seat and I used to slap it around. So now I'm going to show you what all he does with it. We used to open up his cage and just hang it in here. And when he was in the cage, he would try to grab it down and slap it around. And he had so much fun while doing that. Oh, another thing. We also have Jingly Boy. When we throw the balls, Ollie and Bozo just race after it. Watch. Ollie, Bozo. See, they have so much fun with it. They like to hear the noise and they like to chase after it. So next are the grooming supplies. We have three different kinds of brushes. Once they're wet or after baths or something, we use this one so it doesn't pull out their hair. And once they're a little more dry, we use these because the bristles are round and because they're round, they don't poke into their skin or anything. And after that, once we're done combing, we spray on this made with natural conditioner. It smells a lot like baby powder and we spray some on our hands then just rub it all over their body. And after walks, you need to use wipes because their paws get dirty, especially after it's rained. They get all muddy. And even after eating food, you should clean their faces with these because it can stain and it can start to smell really bad. Oh, and another thing. We use 
the bitter apple because dogs like puppies they chew on things especially with teething so you should use this because uh, this tastes very bad and once a dog gets a lick of it they won't go near it again because they do not like the taste and now these are like dental things so this is toothpaste this is a long brush and we use this brush for Ollie and Bozo you just put it on your finger and clean their teeth like this it's super easy now let's move on to the food section. So first, obviously, you need a bowl, one for food, one for water. I don't know where I put the other ones, but that's okay. And you need water bottles, especially if you're going on walks or out somewhere. The best part about this one is you just press this button, tilt it a little forward, and water automatically starts coming out. And another thing, if you hold it and then tilt backwards, water goes back in. It takes a little while, but that's okay. Holly, you want some water? And you need a box. I love this box because of what's written on this. My mom bought this at the store and I just love what's written on. So inside here, we keep their food and it's from Health Extension. Oh, are you hungry? It has chicken and brown rice recipe, and it's grain-free because Ollie and Bozo eat grain-free. And we also have their no-hide chicken dog sticks. And uh, Ollie's vet suggested that we use vitamins for him because he's such a picky eater, a lot like other dogs. So this gives him vitamins and um, minerals. <laughs> And another very important thing, if you have a closed package, you can keep it in a plastic box, but as soon as you open it, you shouldn't keep it in plastic. We keep it in glass jars, and this was this one's not open, which is why we keep it in here. The old one was open, so we poured it into here. And of course, after they're done eating food, you have to take them out so that they can do their business. And for that, you have to use a harness. I recommend using a step-in because it's super easy. It doesn't go in through the neck and it doesn't choke their neck. It like, if they decide to like jump forward for any reason or launch forward super fast, it doesn't choke their neck. It just pulls back their chest a little. And this was Ollie's very first uh, harness, and he used to use it so much. He, had, he used to have so much fun. And now Ollie's a little bit bigger, so we gave it to Bozo, who's sleeping right now. And we use, Ollie, can you move? <laughs> we use this leash. It plugs into one of the metal parts on here. And uh, I've attached a poop bag in here. And Ollie, no. And we have another step in harness. This one I like a little bit more because it's more thicker from here. Next, you should buy some beds for your puppies. I know new puppies should sleep in their crate for training and stuff, but sometimes your puppies just want to snuggle with you and roll around in something soft. And we bought two, especially for Ollie. This one I like a lot because it has the design of paws and it has more color. But this one's super soft and Ollie really likes this material. And last but not least, you need a dog carrier bag. Uh, and it looks like this one is from Patiza Furry. And I really like this one a lot because it has, it looks like three openings so that the dog doesn't feel like he's in a closed space. One, two, and three. And it also has back pocket, one back pocket so you can keep like a water bottle extra poop bags, maybe some treats or something like that. And yeah, 
uh, about every two or three weeks, you should you have to take your puppy to the vet, and this comes in really handy when you have to take them inside or something or bring them back out. So you really need this, it's, and also if you're going out to a place or something, or even just in the car. So I think I've covered pretty much everything, and I just want to tell you guys that I'm not promoting any of these products. I bought a lot of them from Amazon and a lot of them from local pet stores. And if you guys want to buy the ones from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. So that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want to see my other videos, here is a playlist of all of them. And please make sure to keep liking and subscribing. Bye!